So sound effects can really add to your visuals and Create Studio provides a lot of different sound effects that you can add or that they have already added to different scenes. For instance, you can make the sound. Hey, hey wait, wait for me. Like the skateboard and the footsteps, I stopped so that you could hear them. I have them a little low on my computer. I can probably put it up a little. Or to add to some of these kinds of scenes. <clears throat> Hello. And then there's some that we can do for logos and we can do for different scenes, which I can show you after. Um, I want to keep this kind of quick, but I say that a lot and I don't know if I actually do that. So in this one, I used all of Create Studio sound effects. So what I did is if you go into the music section, they have a whole place for sound effects. And you can search by name. You can search by what might be popular. Oh, I did name. You can do what might be longest if you need a longer sound effect because a sound effect because some of them are maybe one second or two seconds, like for there. Um, the pop is even quicker. I don't know if you heard that. So, and then you can also um, sort by what you downloaded. So let's look at what I did here is I just looked for a running sound for the boy and the skateboard for the skateboarder. And when I looked for these, I put in skateboard first and you can see that it's four seconds. I actually cut it because it was a little longer than I wanted. I also, if we look at what I did here, I also put the volume down, but I probably could have had it a little higher. And I also had it fade in and fade out because he was coming from the side and then leaving. Um, probably could have been done better, but that's how quick I did it. And then the same with hey, wait for me. the running. I put it in when he would probably be saying it. So all you would do is you would, let me go to one that I haven't downloaded so you can see. So say I want a woman crying. That's going to be long. I don't want that. Let's do a text messaging. You just click on the download. Once it's downloaded, you can preview them all to see yes. if it's what you want. Then you just click and drag it to your scene. And then you can change the volume. You can fade it in, fade it out. And you can, you can also do some edit fading from this area. But I think with the sound effects, um, most of them aren't really that long. So that's all I did with that. And you just have to hunt through. There are so many in here. Let's go to the next scene and then we can look a little bit more at all the scene, all the sound effects that are there. So here I use keyboard typing and then <clears throat> illustration, then the typing. Hello. And then that is actually an action of celebrating, but it looked like waving. So I had somebody walk in and you can hear footsteps. Hello. And I did the same thing in here. Let me ungroup it. I did the same thing here where I did some um, fading in while this was fading in, while the text was. And then you just place them wherever you want them on the timeline. And say you want him to say hi a little later, you just click and drag it a little bit later. Hello. If you want to wait till he gets in the scene, you can have it when he first starts waving by just clicking and dragging Hello. it to wherever you want it to be. So let's look at some of them in here. I'm not going to look through them all. I just, I already showed you the categories, but you can begin to see how many sound effects are in here. 
And it looks like it's already at the end of the alphabet. So we're kind of near the end of it, but we have street scenes. If you want to have noise, interface sounds, the typing. If you have a character reading a book, I would put that sound down a little bit. Transitions. Train door, if you want to do those. You can have rain and thunder. Some goofy ones. If you want goofy. So tons and tons if you want the... Of course, you got to actually know what those phones are from the old days. Not everybody uses those kinds of phones anymore. So you just really have to go hunting and pecking through these because there are so many. And you can definitely just look through the different categories. You can also bring in any sound effects that you want. So in addition to the sound effects we saw here and that you can bring your own in. So you can bring in your own mp3 or wave file from anywhere you want and you can import it into the program and then just add the sound effect. They also have a bunch of sound effects that are already in some of their presets, some of their logo reveals and some of their scenes or scroll stoppers. So you can get some of those through here if you go to the scenes. If you hover over some of them, so let's go to YouTube. Those have a lot. You can just hover to hear them. That one doesn't. So I'm not going to do all of those. I'm going to show you a trick though, because these are a video file. So you're not going to be able to, well, you don't think you're able to use just the audio, but you can. So there are a couple options. You can publish just the audio as an MP3 or a WAV, and then re-import it as the sound file, or don't go to the hassle, just click on this and put the opacity to zero, then you can use the sound effect and not have the video and you can put your own video above it. So that's a little trick that you can do as well. So we have our scenes that you can get through here or you actually can also get them here. So you can go through them and you can see what some of the um, transitions at some of the scenes are with their sound effects. That doesn't have one. Not all of them will, but some of them do. The other place that has some fun sound effects is if you go to your studio and come down to Scroll Stopper. Some of these are going to have sound effects that are already part of them. For instance, um, I know that what I did find, I had to restart this section of the tutorial because I have my loom isn't letting everything sound, uh, isn't letting everything play from the sound for whatever reason, I don't know. So here's one. So that's an explosion. You can again use it without that if you wanna use it for one of your own. Um, or there's also explosions up here in sound effects that you can use. It should show up. So we have some explosions here as well. Um, so you can find through the studio and some of the, these aren't playing right now, but if you, if you go to show it, you will. I know that the, um, For the life of me, I can't do it right now. I'm sorry, I don't want to start this a third time. Um, but if you download some, if you hover over them, you'll hear some sound effects. And I'm trying to find one that I know. I believe the whale one has sounds. It doesn't. 
you can see there's no sound wave there. So some of them don't and some of them do, but you can find more of them through the scroll stopper. And then you can just use those if you want them. So I hope that gave you an idea of a lot of what's in there. Use all of these different sound effects, search for what you want, use your categories. And if you need to just publish it as an audio or put down the video to zero opacity, and then you'd be able to use the sound effect yourself. So sorry, I kind of babbled on this one. I had to restart a few times. Um, I got to figure out my loom problem. So I hope you have fun.